Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and my channel is called Personal Beauty Lab. I have a product uh, unboxing and first impression today and that is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Um, it was recently released. I ordered it sight unseen and so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with you. So if you're interested in seeing my first impressions on this palette, then just keep on watching. So this is what the palette looks like. Um, the packaging itself is really a work of art. You can see um, in this direction it reads metal, but if you turn it upside down like this, then it says matte, hence the name Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so that packaging is really beautiful. As you can see, it's a really big palette. Um, if you want um, a basis for comparison, um, this is the Serpentina palette. So you can see that uh, the Metal Matte palette is a lot bigger. On the back side of the package, you have um, all the shades listed together. The ones in the circles are supposed to be the metallic shades, and the ones in the rectangles are the matte shades. Uh, on the back, it says, unleash your inner alter ego. Are you soft matte or heavy metal? Two extremes join forces in one high contrast palette featuring Kat's signature metal crush and matte eyeshadow formulas. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, maybe it's easier on this side. Okay. So when you open it, it comes wrapped up inside. So here it goes. Looks like there's stars on the box on the inside. Um, so here's what it looks like. There is an insert which um, describes the eyeshadow palette again. Uh, and it also has a couple of looks that you can do with the palette. One is called Metal Maiden, and it looks like this. You can see that one. And this one is Velvet Romance, and the other one is Metal Matte Mashup. So it comes with instructions on how to do those looks, and um, the instructions are in English, French, and Spanish. All right, so now for the palette. Uh, the palette has a similar design where if you hold it the right side up, it says metal, and if you hold it upside down, it says matte. I think it's so cute. That's really uh, artistic. Um, now on the back side you have all the shade names. Now these are not in color like they were on the box. So on the box you had all the different colors listed there. Okay, so when you open it up, there is a very big mirror, which I will hold sort of like this. So you can see it spans the entire length of the palette. And then, um, putting the mirror back, you can see the palette right here. Uh, it's nice that it has all the shade names right on the palette. Um, you can see it goes from a matte white, black, and then all these different colors. Also, the metallics go from blue all the way to this gold tone over here. Um, it seems like every matte shade has sort of, or every metallic shade has a matte counterpart. So you can see the nebula matches velour and watt with stone, ignite with moss. Uh, even tinsel could do moss. Then there's glitz with this one here, silk. Um, twinkle can go with ribbon, volt with velvet, synergy with oak and flash uh, with feather perhaps, or any of these neutral brown shades. It's a really beautiful palette. I almost don't want to touch it, um, but for the purpose of this video, I better, and then I'm excited to use it anyway. 
Um, so I'll go ahead and do finger swatches of the matte shades first. All right, I will do them. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 matte shadows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine metallic shadows. So there's the palette right here. Okay, so let's drive right into the swatches. I'll do the matte shadows first. Okay, on first impression, they feel very creamy to the touch, as you would expect from Kat's shadows. Here are four shades. I swiped about three times in each uh, color. So let's see. This is your white, your black, as you can see, that is really pigmented, the blue, and the gray. Okay. So if you can see these, um, this color right here is linen, followed by jet, then velour, and finally stone. Very pigmented colors. I think I wore the wrong top for eyeshadow palette swatching, especially with one as pigmented as this one. All right, again, I'm going to swipe in the palette a few times. Um, here are the colors right here on my fingers. Um, moss is your green, ribbon is your purple, silk is that mauvey tone, and fringe is a peach shade. And so, here we go. Hopefully you can see. There's that moss shade. Okay. And there's the purple. This one is that mauve shade. And lastly, this one is a little more powdery than the others, but it does blend. That last one is fringe. Can you see those? So you have moss, ribbon, silk, and fringe. I'm really interested in that fringe color. And there are the colors right there. So that's feather, oak, suede, and bone. So I will swatch on this arm. Very creamy formulas. Love that brown. This one barely shows, but like I said, it would be a good, um, actually this might be more of a transition shade. And this one, a good brow highlight. Let me see if I can swatch suede a little bit more. That one is almost my skin tone, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, you can definitely see the yellow. There is your bird. It's a little bit hard to get the swatches on my hands because of the round pans. Um, and there it's set a little bit deep. But look at that. This is like Mermaid City right here. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Okay, so your first one right here. This one is Tinsel. This one is Ignite. This one is Watt. And lastly, this is Nebula. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm like, 
I want to buy another one. I already bought it and I want to buy another one. All right, so here are those shades. We have Glitz, Twinkle, Bolt, and Synergy. All right, so here is Glitz. Look at that one swatch. That's one swatch. That's crazy. Here's the next one. That one was Twinkle. This one is called Volt. And the last one is Synergy. There you go. Beautiful. So beautiful. I, I'm obsessed with these. Okay, it's just the last one there. See here. And then we'll put it right here. Okay. So there you have them. Okay, I. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Go out and get this palette. Um, I've been kicking myself since last year when I missed the Mi Vida Loca palette. Um, it was the really beautiful one. It was really big. It was kind of like the size of a vinyl record. And um, it had the shades arranged in a color wheel um, with the complementary tones right opposite. It was really beautiful and I regretted not purchasing it. I remember at the time I was at the store and I was like, wow, it's so big, it's so bulky. I, I don't know if I'll do that because when I travel, it's not necessarily a convenient size, but I've been kicking myself ever since. And so when I saw that this one was being released, I bought it sight unseen. And not only did I buy one, I bought two. I bought one for my daughter as well. Um, because she's a really big Kat Von D fan. Um, if you're debating between this and the Serpentina palette, I would definitely say get this one instead. The metallic shades are beautiful and it has the added bonus of having the matte shades. So um, this palette could really stand on its own, whereas the Serpentina palette, I'll show it to you now. Um, whereas the Serpentina palette has more... Um, of just creative shades and it isn't really a standalone palette but this one um, will definitely stand on its own um, it's it's just beautiful it's very very stunning so this gets uh, five thumbs up if I had five thumbs um, you need to go out and get this palette um, it's look you don't really have to say anything else it's really beautiful uh, stop watching YouTube. Go buy the palette. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm fairly new to YouTube, but I plan to bring you a lot more of these videos. If you have any recommendations or feedback, then please leave those in the comment section. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Enjoy your shopping trip because you need this guy in your life. And I will see you next time. Bye.